the James Webb Telescope is praised as the boss overall observatory in the space of room science, perceiving itself through its unparalleled capacities. Also, like some other instrument before it, the Webb Telescope's focal objective is monstrous and critical, counting the examination of our own planetary group while reaching quite far past to investigate faraway systems and stars light years away. Its main goal isn't just to notice these divine bodies, but additionally to dig deep into the crucial designs of the universe itself, planning to comprehend the universe's complex complexities and, basically, our place inside it. In a weighty exertion, scientists have recently coordinated the telescope's noteworthy look toward a star found a staggering 120 light-years from Earth. The discoveries from this try have been totally surprising. The telescope has revealed evidence of carbon-based particles inside the air of what may be a sea world past our planet, a disclosure that has left the enormous community flabbergasted. This revelation prompts us to ask how such a remarkable discovery was even possible. This progression gives us a tempting look into a planet boundlessly unique in relation to any within our nearby planetary group, testing our comprehension and bringing up new captivating questions about the potential for livable worlds and the farthest reaches of the universe. This discovery marks the start of an excursion to reveal considerably more about this astounding exoplanet. For those dazzled by the secrets of the universe and anxious to remain informed about such critical headways, we welcome you to subscribe to our channel. This way, you can ensure you're consistently completely informed about the most recent significant discoveries. Make sure to share this video with others to spread the information and activate the notification bell so you never miss an update. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has recently made a critical and significantly significant revelation with respect to the exoplanet known as K2-18b. This exoplanet, which has a mass of approximately 8.6 times that of Earth, has been the subject of great review. The Webb Telescope's advanced sensors have identified the presence of carbon-based compounds, specifically methane and carbon dioxide, inside the air of K2-18b. This revelation expands upon past research and supports the speculation that K2-18b could be a planet with conditions suitable for life. The presence of a hydrogen-rich environment, combined with what seems to be a sea-covered surface, suggests that this exoplanet may be capable of supporting life, or at least conditions favorable for it. The initial examination of K2-18b's air properties was led with the Hubble Space Telescope, which significantly improved our understanding of this far-off world, found 120 light-years from Earth in the constellation Leo. K2-18b orbits a cool, little star known as K2-18, which exists in the so-called habitable zone the region around a star where conditions may be right for liquid water and, likewise, life. Planets like K2-18b, which fall between Earth and Neptune in size, are a rare and captivating class, particularly considering that our own nearby planetary group lacks similar planets in proximity. The shortage of such planets makes K2-18b a particularly significant subject for study. The likelihood that K2-18b harbors a lot of carbon and exists within a hydrogen-rich climate is especially intriguing to astronomers. Some specialists speculate that such planets could offer the most promising circumstances for the quest for extraterrestrial life. The specific mix of methane and carbon dioxide in K2-18b's air, along with a remarkable shortfall of ammonia, lends further credibility to the possibility that this exoplanet could indeed have a sea beneath its hydrogen-dominated atmosphere. Early perceptions also indicated the possible presence of a compound known as dimethyl sulfide, which on Earth is produced exclusively by organic processes, particularly those involving marine phytoplankton. The presence of dimethyl sulfide in K2-18b's air, if confirmed, would be an extraordinary indication of possible life. However, current information on dimethyl sulfide isn't definitive, and more robust proof is needed to validate this. Future observations using the Webb Telescope are expected to provide further clarity on this, potentially affirming the presence of dimethyl sulfide in significant quantities. A scientist from the University of Cambridge has remarked on the implications of these discoveries, noting that while K2-18b is indeed situated within a habitable zone and contains carbon compounds, this doesn't necessarily mean that the planet can support life. The planet's size, with a radius 2.6 times that of Earth, suggests that its core is likely surrounded by a massive high-pressure mantle of ice, similar to Neptune's structure. 
This suggests that while K2-18b has a thinner hydrogen-rich atmosphere and a sea-covered surface, the conditions inside these seas may be excessively extreme or unsuitable for life as we know it. Nevertheless, researchers have succeeded in capturing the most detailed atmospheric spectrum ever obtained for a viable sub-Neptune, allowing them to identify the atomic composition of its atmosphere with exceptional precision. A researcher from Cardiff University explained that this accomplishment was made possible by meticulously analyzing the light emitted by K2-18b's host star as it passed through the exoplanet's atmosphere. K2-18b is classified as a transiting exoplanet, meaning that its brightness diminishes when it crosses in front of its host star from our vantage point. This darkening is how NASA's K2 mission initially identified K2-18b. The transit method allows a small portion of the star's light to filter through the exoplanet's atmosphere before reaching telescopes like the Webb, enabling astronomers to study the composition of the atmosphere by analyzing these light signals. Moving forward, the research team plans to utilize the Webb telescope's mid-infrared spectrograph to further explore K2-18b's climatic conditions, fully intent on confirming their initial findings and uncovering new information about the planet's atmosphere. Their ultimate goal is to identify signs of subsurface activity on capable exoplanets, an endeavor that could fundamentally alter our understanding of the universe and our place within it. In addition to its examination of K2-18b, the James Webb Space Telescope has also made other critical revelations that continue to expand our insight into the universe. For instance, Astronomers using the Webb telescope have identified complex organic molecules in a distant galaxy that are similar in nature to the smoke or haze we find on Earth. This discovery represents the earliest known occurrence of such particles in the universe, marking a milestone in human history. These findings are both astonishing and significant, as they challenge our understanding of cosmology and suggest that the universe was capable of producing complexity much sooner than previously thought. Wait. To provide some context, the light that astronomers detected from this early galaxy began its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, while the universe itself is currently about 13.8 billion years old. Today, this means that we are witnessing the early stages of the universe's development, so to speak. The most remarkable part of this revelation is that it was made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope, which has the potential to make such observations for nearly a billion more years. As we push the boundaries of our knowledge further back in time, we may yet uncover more of these complex particles, perhaps from a period even closer to the Big Bang. This raises significant questions about our understanding of physics and cosmology. Until the advent of the Webb Telescope, past endeavors to identify complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies could confirm their presence or absence. However, Webb's primary mission now allows us to pinpoint the specific locations of these atoms within the galaxy, providing insights into their distribution and concentration. Interestingly, the non-uniform distribution of these particles in the early galaxy, known as SP4111-1847, is a mystery that scientists have yet to fully unravel. What is even more striking is that this early universe, despite being only one-tenth the age of our Milky Way, was already as vast as our own universe and had produced as much carbon and oxygen as the stars in the Milky as humanity continues to venture into the unknown. Armed with ever-expanding knowledge and a deeper understanding of the universe, we are continually reminded of the immensity and complexity of the cosmos. Each new scientific advancement brings us one step closer to unraveling the secrets tucked away among the stars. As our network of astronomical exploration grows, it is only a matter of time before the universe reveals even more of its mysteries, shedding new light on the profound questions we strive to answer. As we continue to explore the universe with advanced instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, new revelations are constantly reshaping our understanding of celestial phenomena. Quite possibly one of the most exciting aspects of these discoveries is the potential to learn about the early universe and the evolution of cosmic structures. For example, the Webb Telescope's capability to capture images and data from very distant galaxies offers a glimpse into the conditions that prevailed soon after the Big Bang. This understanding helps specialists untangle the mystery of cosmic development and the formation of the first galaxies, stars, and planets. The investigation of exoplanets like K2-18b is especially exciting because it opens up additional possibilities for finding extraterrestrial life.
researchers are intrigued not only by whether life exists elsewhere but also by how different such living beings may be. By analyzing the atmospheres of distant planets, scientists can search for biomarkers, indicators that life cycles might be occurring. These biomarkers could include an array of chemical compounds or patterns typically associated with biological activity. In addition, the Webb Telescope's cutting-edge technology allows for unprecedented observations of star-forming regions and stellar nurseries. These areas are crucial for understanding how stars and planetary systems form and evolve over time. By studying the light emitted from these regions, cosmologists can gain insights into the processes leading to the formation of new stars and planets, as well as the conditions that might be vital for the development of habitable worlds. In addition to focusing on distant galaxies and exoplanets, the Webb Telescope is also providing significant information about the evolution and development of our own Milky Way galaxy. By observing distinct regions of the universe, researchers can map its structure, comprehend the distribution of stars and interstellar matter, and gain insights into the processes that have shaped its evolution. This information is essential for understanding the broader context in which our solar system exists as well as for unraveling the history of our universe. One particularly intriguing area of research involves the study of cosmic microwave background radiation. This faint glow of radiation is a remnant of the Big Bang and conveys crucial information about the early universe. By analyzing this radiation, researchers can glean insights into the conditions that existed shortly after the universe began. The Webb Telescope's observations can complement data from various missions like the Planck satellite to provide a more comprehensive picture of the universe's earliest stages. The technological advancements of the James Webb Space Telescope also extend to its ability to observe phenomena across different frequencies. While past telescopes have focused on specific parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, Webb's instruments cover a broad range of frequencies, from ultraviolet to mid-infrared. This wide scope of observation allows researchers to study various cosmic processes and phenomena more meticulously, leading to more comprehensive and nuanced understandings of the universe. In addition to its scientific contributions, the Webb Telescope plays a significant role in inspiring the next generation of astronomers and researchers by capturing stunning images of distant worlds, nebulae, and other celestial phenomena. The telescope ignites interest and wonder about the universe. And these images often capture the imagination of students and young scientists, encouraging them to pursue careers in science and engineering. Furthermore, the collaborative nature of the Webb Telescope's mission highlights the importance of global cooperation in space exploration. The telescope is a joint effort involving NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. This collaboration brings together expertise and resources from around the world demonstrating the global commitment to advancing human knowledge and exploring the universe. As technology continues to advance, future space missions and telescopes will build upon the foundation laid by the Webb Telescope. These future missions may include even more powerful observatories or specialized instruments designed to probe specific aspects of the universe. Each new mission will contribute to the ongoing effort to comprehend the universe and our place within it. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope represents a remarkable leap forward in our ability to explore and understand the universe. Its pivotal revelations, from the investigation of distant exoplanets to the observation of early galaxies, are reshaping our understanding of cosmic phenomena and providing new insights into the fundamental processes governing the universe. As we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, the Webb Telescope will undoubtedly play a critical role in revealing the secrets of the universe and inspiring future generations of scientists and pioneers. The James Webb Telescope is praised as the premier observatory in the realm of space science, distinguishing itself through unparalleled capabilities. Like no other instrument before it, the Webb Telescope's focal objective is vast and crucial, enabling the study of our own solar system while reaching far beyond to investigate distant galaxies and stars light years away. Its mission encompasses not only observing these celestial bodies, but also delving deep into the fundamental structures of the universe itself, aiming to understand the intricate complexities of the cosmos and our place within it. Recently, scientists directed the telescope's impressive gaze toward a star located an astounding 120 light-years from Earth. 
The findings from this observation have been nothing short of remarkable. The telescope revealed evidence of carbon-based particles within the atmosphere of what might be a water-covered world beyond our own, a discovery that has left the astronomical community astonished. This revelation raises profound questions about how such a significant finding could be possible and offers a tantalizing glimpse into a planet that is vastly different from any in our solar system, challenging our understanding and prompting new inquiries about the potential for habitable worlds in the universe. This groundbreaking discovery marks the beginning of an exploration to uncover even more about this intriguing exoplanet. For those captivated by the secrets of the cosmos and eager to stay informed about significant advancements, subscribing to our channel is encouraged. This way, you can ensure you are always updated on the latest major discoveries. Sharing this information and activating notifications ensures you won't miss any updates. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has recently made a crucial and immensely significant discovery regarding the exoplanet known as K2-18b. This particular exoplanet, with a mass approximately 8.6 times that of Earth, has been the focus of extensive study. The advanced sensors of the Webb Telescope have identified the presence of carbon-based compounds, specifically methane and carbon dioxide, in the atmosphere of K2-18b. This finding builds on previous research and supports the hypothesis that K2-18b may possess conditions conducive to life. The existence of a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, coupled with what appears to be a surface covered by oceans, suggests that this exoplanet could potentially support life or, at the very least, conditions favorable for it. Initial examinations of K2-18b's atmospheric properties were conducted with the Hubble Space Telescope, which greatly enhanced our understanding of this distant world. Located 120 light-years away in the constellation Leo, K2-18b orbits a cool, small star known as K2-18, situated in the so-called habitable zone, the area around a star where conditions might be just right for liquid water and potentially life. 